Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to do more makeup and I want to show you some products that I think I probably have forgotten that I owned. I have really been loving delving into my K-Beauty collection and so have all of you. So these are some new bits and some older bits that I forgot I had. So let's take a look at them today. Subscribe if you haven't already. Everything I use in today's video will be linked down below. And there's discount codes down there for Yes Style and Olive Young if you want to get any of these yourself. Okay, I always start with the Cosrx Lip Plumper. This is like for me priming my lips and as I always say it's not like a heavy stingy lip primer lip plumper sorry it just gives a nice even smoothness to the lip without the pain or anything like that we'll blot that just before we do the lip so I've already got my eye primer on my Sigma eye primer which is my absolute favorite look at my hair looks just really like you know and I've just carved out my brows a little bit I forgot I had this palette. This is from a brand called Wake Make, who I absolutely love their setting powder, their face powder. You can't see the colors on the screen. I'll put a picture up because the colors are a lot more bolder than what I'm seeing in my finder. But to have this deep black from a brand like this, I was like, perfect. So I want to do a kind of like, I'm thinking like Disney, like Blue Fairy inspired kind of look because I really like these blue kind of tones here. So I think I'm going to start with this purpley shade because, you know, it's me and purple exists. And just take that through the socket. I don't want to do anything like crazy. Oh shit, that's the wrong color. I don't want to do anything too crazy or like over the top today. I want to do it like a little bit. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This brand have loads of incredible. Oh, you know what? Let me show you the lip palettes as well. One sec. I have to get them. Oh, that's a good video idea. So these are their lip palettes. So you have this one, which has like more, I would say like bluey tone reds to it and actual like blues, very, very light and delicate. Or there'll almost be like a slight shift. You have this red one, um, which has a nice yellow tone in there as well. These are all made to like mix together or use individually. Um, So the yellows, like the blues, are just gonna shift the tone of the lip slightly. And this is my favorite one, because you have this green and I love green on the lips. Not like full on green color. A tint of green really helps to neutralize redness on the lips, like it does on our skin. But these are just so incredible. And these have the most beautiful shimmer to them. You can't really see them on camera, but they are so Stunning. I'm gonna match up the other side here. I said my inspiration was like Blue Fairy, but also I want it to be like your older auntie has dressed really nicely for um for a wedding. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna halo it with this purple tone here just to give it like a softness and I'll also buff that out a little bit. Just soften up those edges slightly so it's not just blue, you know? I'll wipe down my eyebrows in a bit. Mm -hmm. Cute. I'm going to keep it dead simple and I'm literally going to take my finger and this blue and just tap it onto the lid. I'm undecided if I'm going to use the black. I really want to. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a little bit of black. We'll use this blue with a slight shimmer. Look, look at that shift. Isn't that beautiful? I wish the camera would show up things like this properly so you could see. Mm -hmm. I think I will use a bit of the black in the outside corner just to give it a bit of structure. The black does have a very slight shimmer to it as well. So we'll see how that See how that does. All these eyeshadows have almost like this, I don't know, like a softness to them. Like they go on and it looks like they just blur. I know a lot of people who are kind of like scared that blues are gonna make them look a bit, <laughs> a bit 80s. But you know, if you just, if you use light, medium and dark and you have a structure to it, you should be absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of dry skin there, so it is just clinging on slightly, but I didn't put any um, eye cream on. I just went straight on with my eye primer because I'm stupid. I always, with a black or whatever darker shade I'm using the outside corner, once you feel like you don't have any more color left on the brush, I always just take it directly through my socket and it just adds the slightest, most subtle, can you see, like shape to the lid. And I'm gonna go in with my finger in this more like of the blue shimmer. I think these sh these colors come out, you know, I think you can pop them out. There is a little bit of fallout with the shimmery ones, the ones I use with my finger, but it's 
kind of expected if you're just doing that with your finger, you know, and not being so precise. Yeah, I like this. I'm enjoying this look. All right. So we're going to finish up under the eyes. I'm going to go in with concealer. This is from Day Seek. Love Day Seek. You might, I did a sponsor with them a while back, but I just really, really, really like them. A really good, you know it works kind of brand. I'm going to use this shade on the bottom here. They do come out slightly brighter than they look in the pan. So don't be fooled. And although these are cream, they're not like that horrible, what I call like full coverage dry cream. You know, you can get those like pots of concealer, like those old style, like theater, you know, kind of like old style pots of concealer that smell like heavy makeup. <laughs> it's not like that. And it's not like, you know, like the MAC pots. It almost has a sheerness to it while still giving you a good, good coverage. What eye was that? This one? This one. It does feel more skin carey. I'm going to go into this peachy tone, which would usually be a color correct for some people, but I'm just going to use it to brighten up the inside mm -hmm. and outside points of my face. So we have, can you see, that light a bit, light a bit. Yeah, like, like this would, like if you did this on your auntie, she'll be like, oh, that's quite dramatic. You know what I mean? That's kind of look I'm going for. I'm gonna finish up under the eye with the purpley shade we used first. And then a tiny, tiny bit of that black on the outside corner and just blend it in. These blend so well. Like I said, it's almost like they're, blurring into each other. Cute. Now, I have to, I don't have any eye pencils, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my ColourPop gel liners. And the great thing about having a kind of collection of these is there is gonna be a liner for everything. I could use this, I could use like this brighter um, <laughs> pink there. I love these because I know they're gonna stay on the lid, um, on the waterline, sorry. Well, my eyes are getting a bit sensitive. This is a second round of doing my makeup today. So my eyes aren't, oh, my eyes are getting a bit pissed off. And that's fine, that's fine. Love it, and we'll do a lashes and liner. So for my foundation, I am gonna use a tear tear cushion. However, I have been loving the glow I've been getting from another cushion foundation, but I love the coverage of this one. I have discovered these sticks from Jung Se Moore, right? One is the Essential Moore Stick, which gives your skin this amazing, I'll, I'll do it here. Like, it, can you see? It like gives this amazing glow to your skin. It's not glossy and it's not um, sticky. It's not like a gloss, it's not like a gel. It's like, a, it's almost like skincare again, but leaves this glow on your skin. And that's what I like on the outside part of my face. And there's this one, which is like a true glow. There's a few different versions of this. There's a cream as well. So I think I'm, I think I want to use like this heavier glow one and I'm literally going to use it on the cheeks and I'm just going to go around where I put my concealer and a little bit on my nose. I'm going to leave my forehead because I don't want a shiny forehead. I don't mind a shiny nose so much but can you see? Can you see? That's how I want my skin to look all the time. <laughs> Just not the oily parts. So, so these come in sticks. This brand in general, Jung Se Moore, beautiful, incredible, made by a makeup artist. So you know she knows what she's doing. Can you see? Can you see how my skin's kept that shine? Okay, I need to show you these blushes. These are, I haven't used a shade yet. These are, how can I describe these? The cream, cream blush, but like watery not in texture and finish and really really like the blush is coming from within your skin. So this is the shade 2 and I can't read the name because it's in Korean but they're really cute. They have these little springs like this and it's just this peachy pink. These are really really made to look like a natural flush of colour. So they're not like create that's really annoying. So we don't start out intensely bright in colour. I'm actually taking it all the way from my cheeks. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with this brush. It's like rattling. I don't know if it's broken or if that's the weight has unslipped or something. And I'm almost using it to brighten up around my eye area too. I'm gonna have to change that brush because you're not gonna be able to hear what I'm saying. And then we can keep building it up for more. I just want everything to be bright and airy and like I'm a fairy who's got her shit together. You know what I mean? Mm, mm -hmm. I think if you're not into those really, really pigmented blushes, which are beautiful in themselves, but you just want something a little bit more 
like tinted, like a kiss of colour to your cheeks. That's beautiful. Subtle but nice. I'm just gonna brush some concealer. I took it in maybe a little bit too far. I really like that actually. That might be a new favorite. You see that just subtlety? Janink. What did I bring? What did I bring for the lips? Oh my god, yes. So I want to show you these. So these are from a brand called Fui, right? And these are the lip and cheek. They're like, are they called pudding pots? Yeah, blurry pudding pot. So they're really matte but not dry, they're really smooth and blurry. So I wanna show the shade, but then I also wanna show you the keychain that comes with it. So it comes with a little keychain where you can pot some of your own, the color you choose in here and it has a little mirror. So we'll do that too. But this is the shade, oh, as an OH, and it's a little bit pinker. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna take one of my Romand um, lip matte pencils. We're gonna blot away the lip plumper. So we just have a nice, plumper, smooth lip. With these Roman pencils, again, I'm just gonna go around the bottom edge of my lip, Cupid's bow, and just a little bit in a corner here. And then I like to completely knock out the color of my lip because it, my lips are just too red and everything comes out red on me. So these are from Dayseek. This is a Mood Blur lip pencil, and it's kind of like what I just used, but a bit thicker. And I can completely block out my lip color ready for whatever it is I'm using, whether it's just a gloss, whether it's a balm, whether or what, whatever it is. So this is the colour inside the pot. A lot of these look very similar when they're in the packaging, but they're very different when you put them on. I'm using a, like a wide tip um, artificial brush, something that you may use for a cut crease. And I'm just going to start from the middle of the lip here and brush it down. Oh, it smells so good. Is that the smell? Mmm, oh my god. I have never noticed that song. I've used like a good three or four of these already. Cupid's bow. Just get that cute like ombre lip and then onto the lip here. Pink, I keep saying that. I keep, I'm being really into pink recently. Okay, but now I'll let that sit for a tiny little bit and then we'll go over again with a little bit more. Mainly just focusing it on the middle here. Look how velvety that looks. And that comes in loads of different shades as well. You get some very light ones, there's some really nice deeper shades, and it feels like nothing. It feels like there's nothing on my lips. So this has to be one of the cutest ideas I've seen. So this is the Blurring Pudding Pot from Fui, a really nice velvety matte lip and cheek product, and a keychain that you open up and scoop this into here for touch-ups throughout the day. How cute, let's do it. So this is a keychain, and it opens up and you have a pan in here. This is giving very Tamagotchi vibes. And this is the pudding pot itself. They are very velvety, very smooth. Let's put some in our thing. <laughs> okay, so I have the pudding pot, the keychain, a spatula. I'm gonna start with a tiny bit because, oh no, you need a lot more, okay. <laughs> and that's it in the keychain. How cute is that? I love that. Listen, brands need to start giving out more free keychains. I kind of, I wanted to put a gloss on top, but now I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. Okay, remember this. Why did I choose an orange gloss? Let's not do that. From the same brand, Fui, I have like this lilac-y gloss, which I'm really tempted to just do. Should I just do a little bit? Remember, remember this without, okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's cute. Mm hmm yeah, it's a good colour. Okay, oh, you can use it on your cheeks as well. Let's use some up in this outside corner. It's lip and cheek, right? So let's see. I don't want to use too much. I'm trying to be soft here. Yeah, it just has a tiny, tiny bit of like, definition, that's beautiful. I love these, I love these so much. And I love that they come with a key ring. I just love like the free gift, <laughs> but one that's actually cute, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, let me get on some mascara and lashes. We'll be done. Well, this is the finished look. Like I said, I will leave everything down below for you in the description box. Discount codes, whatever it is you want, are uh, over there. I love getting to play with products. I have so many, and sometimes I kind of just do my makeup and then record my videos. So these videos are really, really nice for me to do. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.